To get the best viewing experience, please consider viewing this video in HD. Hover over the resolution control and select 720p for the highest resolution version of this video. Next, activate full screen mode and this will allow the video player to occupy a larger area for better viewing. Hello and welcome to our NetSim 8 product demonstration video. During the next few minutes, I'll cover some of the new features of this latest release of Boson NetSim 8 for CCNP. One of the first things you'll notice is that the user interface has been completely redesigned. I've put NetSim 7 back up on the screen just for a moment to show you that in prior versions of NetSim, the primary elements of the user interface were the lab navigator and the simulator windows, along with a couple of additional toolbar windows. Beyond that, it's possible that you might also have the lab document open. Each of these components had its own window. The new NetSim 8 user interface has been reorganized as a single window with a number of resizable panels and tabs, which provides a user interface that is much easier to manage. Rather than sorting through a stack of windows, any element of the user interface in NetSim 8 can be accessed with only a mouse click. You can see on the left we have access to all of our lab content. We have access to the simulated network topology via the NetMap Viewer panel up above. And down below we have access to all of the device consoles. Right now I have two device consoles open, which you can see, and they're enumerated with the tab for each one down at the bottom. You can see that the new NetSim 8 user interface is quite configurable. Down at the bottom, I have changed the color in the console window to suit my preference, which is green characters on a black background. The amount of screen space allocated to each of these panels is also easily reconfigurable. You'll see that there's a splitter control that separates all of these elements that allows me to adjust each one so that I have exactly the amount of space that I wish allocated to any particular panel. It's also very easy to close a panel that you're not using. If we're not going to be using the Lab Navigator panel for a while, with just a single click, we can put it away. And further, if we don't need to see the NetMap Viewer for a while, but wish to focus our attention more on the console windows, we can put the NetMap Viewer away and dedicate almost all of our screen space to the console windows. If I want to put everything back the way it was, I can go back up to the main menu and choose Window and then Size to Fit, and the default configuration of all of the elements of the user interface is restored. A couple of other user interface elements over which I have control are the toolbar and the status bar. By going to the View menu, I get the option to hide the toolbar and hide the status bar allowing more screen space to be dedicated to the elements of the user interface that I'm interested in. Another important element of the Boson NetSim user interface is the lab documentation. I can click on the Instructions tab and that will reveal the lab document. And once again, if I'm not using the Lab Navigator panel, I may wish to put that away just so that I'll have a little bit more space to scroll through the lab document. Notice that I can have the lab document open along with clear access to the console windows as I work through the steps in any lab. The lab compiler, which used to be a totally separate application, has now been incorporated into the NetSim main user interface. The lab compiler is the component of Boson NetSim that allows you to take the topologies and configurations that you've created and compile them into your own custom lab packs to distribute to others. And finally, let's take a look at the Home tab. This is a new addition to the Boson NetSim user interface that gives you some shortcuts to help get you started. It gives you a list of the labs with which you have most recently worked so that with just a single click you can go back and revisit a lab that you've been working on. And finally there's a news feed that will give you information about special offers and other information that's updated dynamically. Thank you for taking a few moments to learn more about Boson NetSim 8. In this video, we focused on the user interface, which is the primary new visual feature, but there are a lot of great new features and content that you haven't seen yet. With the release of NetSim 8 for CCNP, there will be some great new lab content to support the new route, switch, and T-shoot certification exams for the newly updated CCNP track. Thanks for taking a few moments to view this video demo. For more information about Boson NetSim and our XM Max exam simulation products, check us out on the web at boson.com.